artificial intelligence is not going to replace a human. So we're going to create artificial intelligence that will unleash the power of human creativity and imagination. The simplest way I would explain GT Sophie is an AI agent that learned to drive by itself at a very competitive level and is able to compete with the best drivers in the world. We wanted to build a technology that enabled the AI agent to be able to understand, react, and then make at least the proper reactions in the real time in a dynamic and complex environment. This is a collaboration between Sony AI, Polyphony Digital as a game development studio, and also Sony Interactive Entertainment. There are many racing games where the physics is half done, but in Gran Turismo, that racing sensation that the players get, that's really at the core of the game. Kazunori-san, who's the CEO of PDI, he really lives racing, and he wants to capture the dynamics and the physics of that sport in the game. The realism of Gran Turismo comes from the detail that we put into the game. All the details about the engine, the tires, the suspension, the tracks, the car model. Because of the realism of the game, it is actually very difficult to program agents. We started around a year and a half ago by bringing on new people and a new team, essentially, that would help us solve that, that specific challenge that we're engaging in with uh, GT Sophie. When you start projects like this, you always underestimate how hard they're going to be. Oh, the early days of Sophie were frustrating. So we had these bi-weekly tests with the guys from Sony AI and they would bring a new version. The first version that I got to see of Sophie, she was fast, actually quite fast, but she couldn't run on a straight line. I can beat her a hundred times over a hundred times. The Sophie agent is trained through a technique called reinforcement learning. Sophie begins her, her life as an agent Tabula rasa, a, a blank slate. She gets inputs from the game about, hey, here's how fast you're going, here's which way the wheels are pointed, uh, here's the curvature of the track, and she gets some feedback as to whether what she's doing is good or bad. We spent a lot of time trying to figure out what things we needed to change in order to get that superhuman performance. The next time they came to us, she was extremely fast. And the next time, she was even faster, and faster, and faster. Okay, I can't beat this. And then we had to bring the big guns. So we had one big race day uh, in July, and uh, we learned a lot from this. By the time we came to July 2nd, it was super competitive. So the JT Sophie agents are one agent, but different colored combinations competing against the four top human drivers across three different tracks and car combinations. One of the, the drivers that participated in the race with us, Takuma Miyazono, he is the top driver out of the 14 million GT sports drivers in the world. The first race was on a track called Dragon Trail Seaside. And there's a really sharp corner towards the end that Sophie takes in a way that's just really amazing. It drifts across the curbs as it prepares to enter this 180 degree turn in a way that when you watch it, you're like, how does it stay in control of the car with that maneuver? In a time trial setting, Sophie is better than the best humans by anywhere from a half second to a second and a half. It did really well in the time trial scenarios, but it didn't do so well in the competitive racing. So the results were that GT Sophie came in first place in two out of three races. Unfortunately though, the total points that Sophie scored meant actually that the human drivers took the team score uh, away. I think we all underestimated how hard it would be to get the sportsmanship side of it right. 
and learn to do that without being overly aggressive or overly timid in the face of competitors. That was a significant challenge to try to figure out what kinds of rewards to give it for these kind of in-game incidents. So we already had a great result on the first race day, but you know, <laughs> there we, there we can always do better. In order to make Sophie learn, she duplicate herself and for each of her, play a different Gran Turismo in different situations. We ne really need a lot of computation power for training. For the Sophie GT project, what we provided was essentially that infrastructure that's really needed to be able to train that super AI to, to get to that world-class ability to beat the best human players in the world. You make a, an update to your model, you run it for like millions of simulations and see, and see how they behave, and then you change a bit, and then you do this a lot of times. In the end, it, it becomes an expert, a lot like humans become experts. Drives for like 10,000 hours, like a human has to practice the skill until, until they become proficient at it. On race day two, we wanted to win all out. The hope is that uh, we also win the team championship, which we didn't in the first race day. Uh, also that we win all three races in terms of like first place. The team put a lot of time into improving uh, the agents, so we were nervous. The first two races go very well, and we are essentially dominating the race taking first and second place. And that kind of gives some confidence going into the last race. And then there's this moment at the start of the third race where there is a wipeout of one of our Sophie agents. But then what makes me very hopeful is that actually we're catching up and we're still in the game. And that agent actually goes to win the race. Sophie won all qualifying. It won first and second place in all three races. It recorded the best lap time in all three races and won the team score by double points versus the humans. もちろんその勝ち負けもあるんですけれどもあのそれ以上に重要なのはやっぱりまあ僕らが作っているこのグランツイスモソフィーっていうまあ AI は最終的に人を楽しませるエンターテインすることを目的に作っているので今日集まってくれたまあ選手たちが楽しかったね今日のレースはっていうふうに言ってもらえるようなねあの AI は多分もうプレイヤーの相棒になるんじゃないかなというふうに思っていてその相棒になった時になんか人間の感情を揺さぶってくれるようなすごいいい関係であってほしいなというふうに思います。本当にすごいアグレッシブでこれからもっと一緒にレースしていきたいなっていうふうに思いましたね AI から学ぶものっていうのが非常に多かったなっていうその速く走るために僕たちが考えもしないような走らせ方、はい、確かに操作を見てみるとすごい理にかなっていて Why are we building this GT Sophie agent? The hope is really that we deploy these agents in the future to to other games and thereby help those players also to explore the games in a much more richer and, and more exciting way than they were able to do before. So this is not just a technical breakthrough project. It really is about bringing AI into the hands of the game developers who are creators, who are going to build the new experiences for the, for the players uh, and expanding their community and the engagement to the game itself. So AI is human to win. 開発してるわけではなくて AI を研究することは最終的に人間のことを理解することにつながるわけですよね人間とは何かっていうことを考えることにつながるえっ、ー、と僕らの好奇心というのは主にそこでしたね This is the very first challenge that Sony AI made Most important thing is what you learn from the Grand Challenge and then take that into the real world